Hello. Oh. <laughs> Where well, are we? Just the most expensive car park in the world. How much was it? Uh, 800 pounds <laughs> for 15 minutes. I think we're going the wrong way here. Eh? Oh. Well, I can't imagine that's the uh, <laughs> pedestrian exit. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, this is not good. Oh. What are we doing in Soho? Oh. Where? I feel like I'm mapping to spoon feed this year. <laughs> Where? What, what's the name of the venue? Oh, I can't even think right now. The venue's the Union Club Union in Soho. Club, that's it, yeah. And door. yeah, we've unloaded, we've unloaded all of our equipment, and we've come to Chinatown to park. And yeah, Dan's right. It's the most expensive car park in the world. <laughs> so we've been here about five, ten minutes now, trying to find a way out. And we're fine. Well, we're having no luck. But we may have just found the, uh, the stairs. It's probably the worst for, for a car park. That's 50 quid. It's pretty. Uh, I'm pretty disappointed with the lack of signage. Well, at this rate, we're not going to be doing any weddings because we're going to be wandering around the car park in so uh, Chinatown for the next ah. Victory. More stairs. <laughs> more, more st I'm trapped. <laughs> more stairs. Oh, John. Oh, we've made it. We've made it. We've made it. Right, so we're at the car park. It's about a five-minute walk to the venue. So, yeah, it's Chinatown for a couple of seconds. We're here. Come down. Oh, mate. Oh, oh there, mate. Come on. This feels so much heavier than it used to. That's it. Oh, no, you just admire it. Bit, Apparently, bit to the left. Perfect. So, uh, yeah, dripping with sweat here. <laughs> um, I, I actually visited this venue previously to, um, to when we came because I wanted to make sure that I knew where we were going because I knew parking was going to be a nightmare. So I, I was aware of these stairs, but uh, the reality has kicked in. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce, in the white dress, from Preston, Lancashire, and the blue suit, from Basildon, Essex. Give it up for the new bride and groom, Dan Mitchell. Right, so we're at the terrace at the Union Club. Dan, thoughts? Really nice. Nice place, isn't it? So, a bit different. Yeah. A bit different from the north, but it's um, really nice. Really friendly staff. Part of the room seemed lovely. Yeah. And, uh, from yeah. Baz, apparently. We didn't from know Baz that, did we? Yeah, yeah I, from uh, Baz. A place of birth. We, uh, we're just looking and wondering how everyone feels about these flats when, they, when we start banging out music like that. Bearing in mind people live there, but uh, yeah. We're used to it, didn't we? Yeah, so, probably, yeah. So, yeah, going to get set up. Um, got me beer. I'm going to get set up in about half hour and uh, get some music going. Right, so speeches are done and we are able to start setting up. Dan is in there cracking on. Got all of our gear out here in this little, what they call the library. Ah, that would be why they call it in the library. Um, so yeah, going to start getting set up. Um, got a lot of wires, we've got a lot of stuff to do yet. But yeah, we're going to get set up and get ready to go.
shattered. Absolutely shattered. Um, <clears throat> amazing night. Really, really, really good wedding. I'm just going to have a look and see if I can go in here. Maybe not. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely wicked wedding. Well up for it. Well up for it, crowd. Uh, went on till one. So I'll go in here. Nice went on till one, so it was a bit later than, um, than usual. And Dan has gone to get the car from the car park that you can't get out of. Or well, you can because we did. Um, and yeah, we're going to pull up in Soho and we're going to unload. Sorry, not unload, load up. My brain's not, uh, not functioning. Brain scrambled, tired. Um, yes, yeah, so we're going to try and load up the car in the midst of Soho with probably about a thousand people coming down the road. So, uh, yeah, I'll tell you what, let's kind of look. Let's kind of look what it's like out there. It might not be that bad. Oh, God. That wasn't actually anywhere near as bad as I thought it was going to be. That's fine. Oh, so, as you can see, I'm home. I'm absolutely exhausted. Um, the kids have just gone to their swimming lessons. Uh, right, so, last night, <clears throat> it wasn't that bad um, when I first looked out that door. And then Dan ended up going around the one-way system in Soho about 15 times. So I was standing there for about half hour, and then by the time he turned up, um, it went from being not too bad to absolute carnage down in Soho. So, yeah, there wasn't really an opportunity to finish the video properly and um, take any footage of us getting out of the club and getting home. It was just a case of quickly packing the van up and getting out of there. Um, it was, yeah, it was absolute madness down there. So, got home at about, God, half past three maybe. Uh, was up at six with the kids, and my wife has kindly allowed me to skip swimming today just so I can have a, have a cup of coffee and chill and relax for half hour. So uh, yeah, um, shame we couldn't finish the video last night, but to sum up Soho, uh, the Union Club, it was an absolutely wicked night. Really, really, really like, up for a crowd. Lovely bride and groom, really good music taste they had, so it was nice for me to um, build around what they liked and, and avoid what they didn't like. Um, and yeah, it was like it was a proper DJ set as well. It wasn't I say a proper DJ set, everything is a proper DJ set, but their taste in music allowed me to be a little bit more creative on decks. So a very, very enjoyable, very enjoyable night. But now I'm shattered. So yeah, until the next time, we're going to try and do a little bit more of these. I, I think I did a video about four months ago now, five months ago, where I said we were going to try and do one, naively said we were going to try and do one for every gig, um, which hasn't quite worked out. That being said... Myself and Dan, who started the business, were working full time for the first 16 months um, of starting F&B, and I am now full time. Um, so Dan is still working, and he's going to be joining me in a few months' time, running the business um, Monday to Friday, well, Monday to Sunday. So we should be able to do more of these. So if you've watched it, thank you. I hope you enjoyed the gig log, um, and I'll see you next time.